Energizing your soul through the inspired Word of God, this is your daily devotional reading. This Day with God, a devotional by Ellen White. June 7th, His grace is sufficient. Take my life and let it be Consecrated, Lord, to Thee Take my hands and let them move At the impulse of Thy love At the impulse of Thy love His grace is sufficient. Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God which worketh in you, both to will and to do of his good pleasure. Philippians chapter 2, verses 12 and 13. Every one of us has a work to do in our own salvation, which is to meet every requirement of God. God does not do anything independent of the agency of him for whom the work is to be done. His grace is sufficient to work in and with them that are his in the fulfillment of every promise, while the one for whom this grace is supplied is to obey every command. The effect of God's claims is to cause his people to come out from the world and be separate, having no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. Without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14. Whosoever will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. James 4, verse 4. While the Lord is working with us, we must be working for ourselves. When the Lord sends his servants to us with reproof, with cautions, with warnings, we are not to turn away and refuse to receive the message because it does not come from learned men. We are not to say, this message is not needed. Every message sent to you by God's messenger is for your good, to teach you the way of salvation more perfectly. What means has God to communicate his will to men, unless it be through his delegated messengers? And are you not afraid to select that portion of the message that pleases you and reject that which crosses your track? You must not give expression to your doubts. They are the suggestions of Satan. If you do not respect the ways and means God has employed to reach you, will you consider what means he has in reserve to reach your case? Has there not been utterly a fault among you to criticize the ministers of God, to speak lightly of those whom the apostle has enjoined upon you to regard highly for their work's sake? Will men and women with very limited experience refuse to be helped by the very means God has ordained his ministers? What kind of respect do you think your children will have for the messengers of God after you have taken it upon yourselves to talk disrespectfully of these men as you have done? This Day with God, June 7th. I encourage you to be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Thank you for listening and be sure to join us tomorrow for your daily devotional reading.